All right, let me start out by telling you why money was invented. Money was invented to turn men into soldiers and assassins and to turn women into prostitutes. Money was invented to make us slaves and to degrade the human spirit. I do not agree with the idea that having money makes you empowered. I do not agree with the idea that having money makes you free. It can make you physically free, but at the end of the day, there's a man sitting in prison with a life sentence who's more free than us because his mind is free. I don't expect everyone to understand that, but it is true. What's not true is the idea that prostitution is empowering for women. I'm not here to make an argument for or against legalizing prostitution. You can do pros and cons with legalization all day. At the end of the day, it's always going to be controlled by organized crime. And these women are always going to be getting pimped one way or another. That's the reality. My problem is with people who try to glamorize this profession and say that it's empowering. Unfortunately, it seems like Mark is one of those people. Case in point, Mark has been pinning these comments that sort of glamorize and make it seem like these prostitutes are empowered, particularly when they have sort of upbeat, bubbly attitudes. Never mind all the other ones that he's interviewed that look miserable, drugged out, and dragged out, and just unhappy in general. Never mind the fact that even with these happy ones, they're telling you stories about getting molested and raped with a smile on their face. Mark doesn't see any contradiction there. And he's pinning these comments like this one from Natalia, <clears throat> which is very similar to the other comment that he pinned, but just phrased better. I'm sure you remember the comment that I reacted to last time where the commenter was cursing and spitting at these uh, fake experts like myself. So here we have that again. So many experts here making diagnosis. Now let's just put this to rest, okay? If you're going to demand that people have expertise and credentials in order to leave a comment expressing compassion, sympathy, or concern for these prostitutes who laugh and giggle with a smile on their face while they talk about being molested, where are your credentials, Natalia Kumgi? Where's your expertise, Natalia Kumgi? Since you're demanding it from other people in order for them to make a comment, doesn't that logically follow that you should have the same expertise that you're demanding from other people? And isn't it odd that Mark keeps pinning these comments, insulting us for not having expertise, and yet he never brings any real experts on. He never brings therapists and social workers on to talk about this stuff. Interesting. So, that's a total red herring. That is a straw man, this expertise thing, okay? Now let's continue the comment. Oh, she's not repressed, laughs, enjoys connecting with men. That's what we're going to call it, connecting with men. And God forbid gets paid for it. Yep, that sounds like clinically depressed human to me. Clearly, we live in society that tells us to put people in boxes, regardless of what their own story is. I love her. It's rare and refreshing to see someone be free despite societal norms. Now, can we just agree that this is a wholehearted endorsement of the empowerment aspect of prostitution? This person is saying that this woman... Mako, Mako is empowered. Okay, that's what this comment is saying. But even beyond that, they're saying that she's free and that she's being oppressed by societal norms and a society that tells us to put people in boxes. So let's just unpack that for a minute. So you're, you're telling me that it's not the pimp 
taking her money that's oppressing her. It's not the organized crime that's oppressing her, trafficking these women. It's not the powers that be who put money here to exploit us and degrade us and turn us into slaves that's oppressing her. No, no, no. It's people like us who express concern and compassion who are oppressing her through societal norms. That's what you're telling me. You see how this whole attitude completely flips the world upside down? And that the people who put money in her pocket, the Johns, the tricks, who want to degrade her and use her body and throw her away, they're not oppressing her. They're empowering her because they're giving her money. Whereas the people like us who express concern and make these fake diagnoses with our societal norms, supposedly, we're the ones who are oppressing her. Do you see how this comment, despite how well-worded it is, is a complete lie? And the odd thing is that when you actually scroll down and look at the other comments, they're completely the opposite. They're expressing concern for her. They're expressing compassion for her. Isn't it odd that out of all these comments expressing concern and compassion, look at this one. Sweetheart, you were not sexual at an early age. You were sexually abused at an early age. Of all these comments expressing compassion, that Mark pins the one that's the total opposite. Isn't that interesting? All right, so let's go through a few more of these comments. I'm probably going to have to make this a two-parter because there's some more things that I want to show you. <sighs> She's very detached from her feelings. Pain has become numb. Prayers. Everyone a therapist, psychologist. Lol. She's a victim of pedophilia. What happened to her as a child with that family friend defined her in many ways and she never developed past that. Her eyes when she talked about missing her daughter's graduation was the one moment I saw beneath her facade. Again, this is the type of stuff that Mark doesn't like. You can see by the comments that he's pinning and you can see by the comments that he hearts, okay? Damn, didn't know there were so many psychologists out here. Again, loved by soft white underbelly. This is the agenda. This is what I don't like. Mark, don't promote agendas, dude. Let the people tell their stories, but keep your agendas out of it. This whole thing with the psychologists, you're not bringing psychologists on the show. You're not bringing therapists on. So don't demand that someone has to be a psychologist to leave a comment. And don't insult the people who are coming on and making these compassionate comments. These are the people that he doesn't like. Like this, she was honest about the game, but she was masking her pain with laughter. Yes. And this one. She's hiding. She knows what scumbags want and she has become it. She's literally talking to him like he's a John. That goes to the whole heart of this thing. This is a, a trick pimp mentality. A trick wants to think that these women are having a great old time prostituting themselves. A pimp wants to think that they're going to do it anyway, so he might as well exploit them. This agenda that Mark is pushing is a pimp trick mentality. Period. It's not empowering women. It's not about empowering women. It's about tricks and Johns feeling comfortable patronizing these women because they're empowering them. Okay? That's what it's about. It's about pimps feeling just fine and dandy about taking these women's money because they're hoes anyway, so I might as well pimp them. It's about pulling the rug over all the abuse and the child molestation and the rape that these women have suffered, which caused them to become prostitutes, which caused them to devalue themselves and have such low self-esteem and have such 
dire economic situations where they get into this stuff in the first place. Mark, I'm just going to tell you straight up, this agenda that you're trying to promote is wrong. It is wrong. It's not about whether or not legalization should be. It's not about judging or praying to God in church. It has nothing to do with that. It's about the fact that these women are oppressed and you're trying to make it seem like they're empowered. Couple more comments before we go. Laughing while she's is saying she gave oral when she's eight years old is morbid. Why didn't you like that comment, Mark? Why do you only like the comments where people are insulting people like this? Why do you only like the comments that are saying she's empowered? Do you have a pimp trick mentality, Mark? That's what I'm really starting to wonder. She is working him. This isn't the real Mako. We are meeting the escort, madame. You see? Mark doesn't like people who make these comments. Mark wants people like this to show that their credentials, that they have a psychology degree in order to make these comments. And yet he likes comments from other people who don't have psychology degrees. Isn't that interesting? We, we demand a degree and a credential from someone we don't agree with, but when we agree with them, we no longer demand those credentials. Isn't that right? This is about a pimp trick mentality. Okay? She's doing a lot of laughing, but I haven't heard the joke. Me neither. A lot of the females on her bashing her is doing the same thing for free. Where is anyone bashing her? I literally have not seen one comment of bashing her. Call it a blessing. Call it a curse. Nope. Call it molestation, child sexual abuse. Why don't you like that comment, Mark? So I hope I made it clear the point I was trying to make. It's not about bashing this woman, supposedly. It's not about downgrading her. It's not about judging her. It's not about whether or not prostitution should be legalized. It's not about any of those things. It's about acknowledging that these prostitutes have all been molested and that's why they ended up as prostitutes. And it's about acknowledging that prostitution is not empowering and that the people who are promoting this concept of prostitution as empowering are promoting a trick pimp mentality, period. So that's it for part one. Part two, I'm going to show you a few more things that you probably don't know about this agenda, which Mark seems to have latched onto.